Dear brothers and sisters, dear friends, the good news has arrived. The great news that Pope Francis will be making his pilgrimage to Thailand and Japan. This is a moment of grace to the Christians and others in these countries. Pope Francis is a prophet of modern times, proclaiming Christ's kingdom of peace to everyone. He is a world leader who has proclaimed not only religious message, but the message to humanity. Pope Francis has reached out to every kind of people. He has chosen countries where the Catholic community is a minority. His concern for communities at the margin has amplified their presence. Two years ago, he chose to visit two countries where the Christian presence is so small, Myanmar and Bangladesh. Christianity was in Myanmar for 500 years. His visit made this small flock to be known to the world. What a grace it was for us, a great miracle. Great was the Holy Father's love for small flock. His visit was challenging, but that did not deter Holy Father to visit these countries. He came with a clarion call for peace through love. He was not hesitant to meet anyone in Myanmar, the leaders of the country, the monks, and even the military generals. He came as a pilgrim of peace and his presence brought immense joy and happiness to every one of our people. The whole country was soaked in hope in those days when the Holy Father was with us. He left a strong message of peace and hope. He also encouraged the Catholic Church and the youth to be an instrument of peace. I am happy to warmly wish the two countries, Thailand and Japan, a great blessing with this pilgrimage of encounter. Both of these countries were steeped in deep spiritual traditions and draws thousands to their shoes for spiritual venture. Pope's interest in the Eastern religions is well known. His love for nature and the biosphere has brought him to release a path-breaking encyclical Laudato Si and organize a special synod on Amazon. In all these, he has admired the spiritual tradition of the East, which considered every living beings and things like trees as part of God's presence. Climate change and poverty are two of the major issues the Holy Father engages the world for a dialogue. Thailand and Japan have faced great challenges in climate change. Holy Father always feels that the religious traditions can assert strongly to uphold the dignity of human beings and integrity of creation. I am sure his voice will be heard on these issues. Asia welcomes the prophet of justice, economic and environmental justice. Asia is the creator of great religions and civilizations. May this spiritual encounter be showers of blessings on everyone in these countries and a new dawn of peace and prosperity emerge in our great continent. Thank you very much.